Hello everyone. Well, as I promised on the forums, I would um, discuss the issues with the Centerprint and the Russian 91. First of all, there's the box. And what do you get in it? Well, there's nothing in it right now, but you get some cantle. You get some accessories, some o-rings, a couple of screws and the tip adapter so you, you could actually change whatever tip it is you want to keep on instead of using the stock one you get a screwdriver a mini screwdriver I lost mine oh, but basically this is what is left of it, the caps it looks something like this and you take the caps off and you got yourself a nice screwdriver on the go um, and of course the unit itself there it is the Russian now I won't get into details with this because Todd did that already in his review although there is one point he mentioned in his review which was um, that you can't go fiddling with that center positive screw over there uh, which actually caught my attention because when I got my Russian you'll notice I'll try and get this a little closer the screw is kind of further in than the, the negatives I don't know if you can see it here and that really got me wondering because I put this on my trusted old Vamo and um, I couldn't get any reading on the ohms I'll try that as we speak As you see, it says 999. So basically, there's nothing in there. Well, to be honest, there is no coil in there right now, but that's what it would show you anyway. And uh, well, Todd, since Todd said you couldn't really do anything about that, I got a little surprised and I, uh, I looked at the website and it says that um, this center thing should be adjustable. Now, Todd knows a lot of things and he said do not touch the thingy in the middle so I didn't really dare doing it but since I couldn't get any connections I thought well anyway his um, his concern was that if you actually I'm gonna take this into bits and parts so that you can see what it means oh everything just fell off don't get me wrong, this is pretty solid, but shit happens. Anywhere. There is the core unit. Thing is, if you fiddle with this screw, this whole thing over here, this whole block, positive block, is just gonna fall off. I'm gonna do that for you. and it's a nightmare to put back on again see it's loose just turns around now because the screw goes right in there anyway in order to make the center pin stick out a little more you have to take it out so it's very simple just unscrew the thing with a little patience There you go. There's your central center pole stick. And here's the secret about it. You couldn't really see this when, when the when the the pin was in, but if you look at it right here, there's like a double screw. So what you have to do is like loosen this part of it. And then you see, you can just extend extend it as you as you want. I don't know if it's clear enough on the camera, but yeah, you can get pretty far out. 
and that will ensure that you have a connection. Now, um, the thing I do is because you can't really screw it back in this way is that I, I take this screw out completely and I just rebuild this part again. There's no real hassle to it, just make sure you can keep this somehow centered and put the other pin back in. Just, just make sure it's it's stuck. See, it's back to normal again. Back in place, and this one is screwed all the way in. Now, when that's done, you just take the other screw that you took out of it, put it back in again. And make it go as far in as you need. I mean, it already has a established connection now, so if you actually had the connector that was that far deep, I mean, it would still reach. It's probably easier doing with the finger. It's just where I want to have it, probably a little further. And you can you can just do it with your finger at this point. So, well, that was basically all I wanted to show you, and that's what I promised on the forum. So, good luck to you guys. Um, there are a lot of nice um, recoiling tutorials on uh, on the forum, so I won't bother with that. All right, have a good time.